bruh. On this field. This losing streak ends today. I will not allow I will not allow this disrespect anymore. This, I will not allow it. The NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football. They're going to show up. The just going to show up like they showed up in real life. With the New York Jets. <laughs> the kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. That return gives him a golden opportunity mm -hmm. to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? Watch a slap, watch a slap. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they should. Let's go. Coming and he's taken Let's down. go. C.J. Mosley, the linebacker, making sure his presence is felt. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got oh! I not get that. Touchdown, Cowboys! Ezekiel Elliott, 37 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said. Better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. Field it about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 24. Darnold off the play fake to Bell. On the crossing route, he hits Demarius Thomas. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. Let's go! But not before getting it inside the 35. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. Couple Let's nice go. Back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's Keep carving them up. A tone they weak. Line going. Good sign on the opening drive. A Jet first down, 18 big yards that time. Now a first down carry by Bell. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Throwing on second and 14. Darnold eluding the pressure right. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run past. Ah, oh, let's go. Louder. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Sauce it up. 
First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Look at this, a tight end carry. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing. And as a player, that means it. Let's go. He's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Demarius Thomas taking it in as his guys are on the board oh, yeah. in this first quarter. I thought you, no you thought you was going to leave these Jets scoreless, boy? Yeah, no nah. Necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Not these Jets, man. Right J-E. T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the 1. Oh, no. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. <laughs> about set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got to the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Prescott now. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Brandon Copeland. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Here's Prescott. And he hits Jason Wynn, the tight end. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Here's Prescott. Yes! Incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And that will force a turnover on downs. They'll run on first down. It's Bell. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 14 yards is the pickup there at a jet first down. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Darnold on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because there's contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to hold that one in. On second down, it's Bell. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half as some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Caught here by Griffin. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. Fourth down, Darnold. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Cowboys defense is going to get him the football back. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to give a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that will loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, there in coverage. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
This is Elliott. And an alley to run. And a pretty nice tackle there. Ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. They'll run it with Elliott. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. So did you suspect the same thing that I did, that they were lining up just to draw them off sides here? 100%. Well, how about that? They were going for it the entire time. Never a question in his mind about going ahead and getting it, despite where they were on the field. Yeah, I don't know if you heard it in my voice when they snapped the ball. I was like, oh, I almost wasn't ready to call the play. I just kept waiting for the timeout offensively. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Brandon Copeland able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That they occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation allows him to get home. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now Prescott. Oh, did he hang on to it? Oh, he did on the He should have died. He should have died. Ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. Let's go. Not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure: when you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Uh -huh. They get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Not often do fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. 46. A first down throw for Prescott. Let's go. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Despite the blitz, they're still able to cook up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They'll run with Elliott. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. First down carry by Elliott. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call run fits, everyone was in the right place. Tim carry now for Elliott. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves them needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. <sighs> On third down, Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. 
The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. Well, that will go down as a 15-play drive, and it results in three points. So, some disappointment? It's funny. We had our conference before the game with the offensive coordinator. And what did he tell us? I just want every drive to end in a kick, right? An extra point, a punt, or a field goal. Well, in this case, I think it is a little bit of a disappointment because it did end in a kick, but that type of a drive should end in the end zone. Let's go, Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Get ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Yeah, right now, under 100 yards of total offense. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. She got more out of that. The second of their three timeouts. She got more out of that. As they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. And they are going for it. Darling. Come on. Complete with 11 seconds remaining now. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Let's get it together, defense. Let's get it together. Now Prescott. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 17. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a Let's lot go. of people look at Let's it. Let's go. Maybe you take a shot here. Le'Veon Bell, it's a foot race. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And remember, <laughs> rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. Come out the locker room with the lead, baby. That's all you want. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. <sighs> Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. See if they do just that. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Bell running on first down, but he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? He's 
They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. This one caught by Crowder. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. A gain of 15. And the Jets first down. On first down, Bell. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard, there was no room to run. Again, it's Bell. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. He lost two there, and it's third down. Throwing here on third down. Donald found his target. It's Anderson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 35. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. To throw is Darnold. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Griffin. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He's going to let this. That is caught by Anderson for a Jets touchdown. Oh, yeah. 35 yards. And the Jets will extend their lead. Oh, yeah. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes it a 21 to 10 game. Here's Sam Ficken now for the Jet field goal. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. Again, it's Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. They're able to convert with a gain of four. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. On second and 12, Prescott completes it to Jason Witten. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. 
Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Prescott to throw it. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. Pass the 20. And nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three-yard line. Intended that time for Cooper. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't. Oh, yeah. Caught by Thomas. He's got a I overthrew. He overthrew the tight end. That was wild. Demarius Thomas. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Jets capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Extra point splits the uprights. And the decision to just <sighs> kick the extra point winds up successful. Looking real good, boys. The Here's Jets. Sam now for the Jet field goal. This is taken at the three. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Oh, whoa. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Wow. Complete to Cobb. And that's going to be another first down. Wow. This, this, this game is wild, boy. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have that a touch pass. It's a, a pick doing. six, but boy. Sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them. And they run that quick cut on the slant. And oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Elliot. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. And that's a loss of seven on the first down play. It'll be real interesting to take a look at this play later because on this pitch toss play, I get the sense that he just followed the pulling guard or the pulling offensive lineman through that hole and split this play early. Yeah, because he didn't even nowhere to escape and he goes down. <coughs> We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Nate Hairston. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. On first down, it's Bell. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. They'll go again with Bell. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. The Jets on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Faking the give, Darnold. And he finds his man, Griffin. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. 
Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Sean Lee, the pro bowler, there for the tackle. So where did all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. They'll keep it on the ground. Bell, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a four-yard pick up there, and it leaves him with third and five. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On third down, here's Bell. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Donald. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They're still throwing the football here. Now, obviously, the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving. Keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. It's a bit of a dangerous part of the field for him to break into their bag of tricks, but for a minute there, I thought it was going to set up perfectly for them. Instead, they don't get into the end zone, but they do pick up positive yardage. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Darnold now to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Now, well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Ficken's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line.